Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I will show you how to create a circuit on Multisim and run its simulation to get the current and voltage values. The circuit we will do is a simple voltage divider circuit with one voltage source and two resistors. The first step would be to go to place here on the top of the screen and then click component. And then you'll, by default, you'll go to all groups. And so you navigate here and say, if I wanted to insert a, a resistor, I'll go to basic. And then I'll look for uh, the resistor here. Okay, so this is I found resistor. I can either scroll to the value I want or I can type it. So let's say one of the resistors, I'll choose it to be 1K. After I chose 1K, I can hit OK or Enter. So now you can see there's this outline of a resistor that is attached to the cursor. I can put it anywhere on the blank sheet. So let's say I put it here. Then um, Multisim brings me back to the select component screen and if I wanted to choose something else I would choose it otherwise I'll just close and or hit the X here so let's say the other resistor that I want is 2k that's 2k okay and this is my R2 do I want something else yes I want a voltage source where can I find it you go here under group sources power sources and I want DC uh, power like a battery okay and then I place it what else do I need to run any simulation you would need to have ground so you'll find it also under sources power sources and ground so then click OK do I need anything else I would need indicators but I'll show it to you at a later step. For now, I don't need anything else. Now I got these resistors. What should I do? I should connect them together. Um, also, if I click on a resistor, you'll see I have a, like a bunch of options here. I can choose to rotate, for example. If I rotate it like this, I can rotate the other one as well. And now they are close to each other like this and then if I click on one end you will see you'll get this uh, virtual line it's not fixed yet you need to drag it around to fix it so let's say I'll drag it until here and then I click and then drag it to the battery and then click again okay and then if I also go to the other end of the same resistor I can also get a wire it's still not fixed like this until you click on another point point. and now I'll take from the other end of the other resistor and notice here if I do it like this it's gonna lock into place um, from this line to here but I want some space between R2 and the wire again this is um, just my preference you can choose to directly from here go there but I choose to have this space right here and then click here then click there okay and then finally after I'm done with everything I drag the ground here uh, now my circuit is complete but there is no way for me to see where what is the voltage these points or what is the current okay so for that I'll need to add the indicators if I made a mistake in selecting the resistor value I can double click and here go to value and change the value I can also name it something else here okay if I want to like name it R11 then I can do that okay now let's say I wanted to change the power source double click I want to change the value let's say make it 5 and then okay 
All right, what's next? Adding the indicators, you go to place and then component and then indicators. And I want an emitter and a voltmeter. So you can see here there's a, the voltmeter and here there's the emitter. Another option is to use the multimeter. You'll find the multimeter here. This is the multimeter. But I prefer like for beginners to use the emitter and the voltmeter, but you can definitely try to use the multimeter which you can find here. All right, so I want a voltmeter and you can see here there is horizontal do I need horizontal or vertical? Let's say, let's take the vertical one. This is one and then another for the other resistor. What else do I need? I need an emitter, two emitters. Do I need two emitters? Everything is in series, so I need one emitter. Why? Because the current here is the same as the current here. It's the same as the current here. It's the same current, okay? So I just only need one emitter and let's say I'll take a horizontal one so you can see here horizontal means the wires are um, coming out from the horizontal like in a horizontal line vertical they're coming coming out like this okay again it's just a, a preference I like my circuit to be clean and clear nothing is like crowded or looks uh, looks bad okay so let me delete the dmm and now there is um so we we made the circuit before just because i wanted to show you how it looks and it's so simple to do the circuit now to insert the indicators i'm gonna have to break the circuit so break by deleting click delete on the keyboard or right click and delete and now I'm gonna drag one here, drag another wire here. Uh, why did I connect it like this? Because to measure current, you put the indicator in series uh, with your circuit, right? And for measuring voltage, you put the indicator in parallel to the component you wanna measure the voltage for. Okay. If sometimes the wire does weird things, you can hit escape and try again okay make some space now i clicked on r2 and then i clicked on the downward arrow on my keyboard and then i'm going to do the same thing here but putting the uh, voltmeter in parallel with r2 all right so now here um it looks like if i had a more complicated circuit these writings here are going to make my circuit uh, are going to be overlapping with some component and are going to make my uh, circuit ugly. So double click and then go to display. Mm. Uh, and then use component specific visibility settings, remove show labels, remove show values, remove show reference, show attributes. Let's see if that removes everything. Click OK. Now we only have uh, just the indicator itself and whatever value of the current uh, that you will see here after we run the simulation. We do the same thing here, properties or double click, and then remove all of these. OK, now properties again remove from show labels, show ref, show attributes. Okay. Now I'm ready to see how this voltage is divided over those two resistors. I'm going to run the simulation by clicking run here. So I got, uh, after I hit run, I got this window here. I don't want it. Uh, all right. Just drag it down to see my circuit again. So sometimes also you will find that the uh, application is like zoomed in or zoomed out when you're like moving the mouse around. So just hit this, it will 
uh, fix the zoom. So let's let me ruin the zoom a bit. Sometimes with the mouse, you click something by mistake and you're way zoomed in. So you can zoom, like fix the zoom here by clicking this one. And now you can see that this is the value of the current and this voltage is divided by these resistors with these amounts. Okay, that was very simple. And I hope you now understand how to create a simple circuit on multi -SIM.